I said I had a unique story. Trace story is kind of similar because effectively we have the, sa the same mentor, but mm -hmm. I'll let him tell that story if, if he wants to uh, take that on. Cause it, yeah, far away, Trey. I mean, it would be fun to try to just do it without you talking. <laughs> <laughs> I, can just, can... I can just do like sign language or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the video part part of the Trey's podcast. story here. Okay. Thumbs up as I'm talking about it. <laughs> yep, that's Everything good. So. I'm just nodding. Uh huh. Exactly. No, I'm 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 a uh, I'm a guy who made it through everything I shouldn't have, man. Uh, you know, member of God's special forces, been called to to change the world through sharing opportunity and wisdom and uh, connections and relationships. All these resources that I've been blessed enough to you know have put into my life, and and real estate has come to be that vehicle to do it all through. Um, and yeah, just like Tyler said, it is, you know, very similar how that became the vehicle because, and I would say I, I was in sales since I was six, right? I grew up with, with, I guess you could say two loves business sales and, uh, baseball. That was my other one. <laughs> so, um, at some point in time, we all get told, Hey, you can't play this game anymore. Um, and, you know, I'd done everything under the sun sales wise, and I was burnt out really. Um, when I came across the mentor, it was about 2017, uh, wanted to learn about stocks and specifically options contracts and how to make a bunch of money behind my computer and never have to talk to anybody since, you know, we're talking about not talking. Right. And, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I, I get into this, uh, it, it was called a pledge class through something called the trading fraternity. And within about a week of pledge class, Josh looks at me and he says, Trey, you need to go get your real estate license. <laughs> And I said, okay. Um, and I thought about it before. I mean, as a salesperson, your, your brain works that way, right? Higher price points, higher commissions, more money mm -hmm. in your pocket. Um, but I just thought it was like going around and showing houses to people all day. And I was <laughs> like, I do not want to do that. I'd already been a road warrior, you know, with, with some of the in-home sales I was doing and stuff. And so uh, I, I took the, took the leap of faith though. And it took a while to kind of figure out like where, where the passion was, because that was the one thing I was missing was what could I get passionate about in the same way that I got passionate about baseball? Because I, I, could, I, I never found that in any other place. Even coaching, I would coached and was a program director and recruiter and a lot of stuff for a facility here in North Carolina um, for about five or six years after playing. And I loved that stuff mm -hmm. and I was getting paid to do it, but it wasn't going to pay the bills, let alone allow me to create the capital um, and my bank accounts to make the impact in the world um, for the people that I wanted to. And I felt like I was created to. So, um, you know, it kind of over the journey of, of building my real, my retail real estate business, you know, representing clients, buyers and sellers and that kind of stuff. It grew into what Tyler was talking about, um, a, an opportunity that, that we are both involved in to really be leaders in this space because there's so much to, to know about real estate brokerage because you're, you're, you're really a business owner, right? Mm -hmm. when you get your license and a lot of people who are new to the industry or even people who have been in the industry for 10 or 20 years miss the boat on how a lot of this stuff works and how important it is to be able to navigate that world and put your business in the right vehicle to accomplish the dreams that you have and that you really saw real estate opening up for you and so you know we're just we're just sponges man i like to look at it as like a gold bar metaphor you know i go out there and, and everybody's got a gold nugget i can grab from them and i go and melt it down into this gold bar that i can forge and, and cut a little slice off of for each person we come across and level them up in, in the biggest way that we possibly can.